Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the 7 Deadly Sins beauty tag and I've seen this go around quite a bit on YouTube very recently so I'm going to be doing it today and it's basically like a tag obviously so random beauty questions uh, so yeah I'll have the questions linked down below if you guys want to film this on your beauty channel or whatever channel if you guys make videos or you can leave it as a comment response below um, and if you guys do 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 ooh, do 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 and if you guys do decide to do this tag, there we go, trying to get my words out, then leave it as a video response and I'll definitely watch it. All right, so let's just get started. All right, so question number one comes from the greed category and it is, what is your most inexpensive beauty product? I would have to say the most inexpensive beauty product, um, if it counts, if it's on sale, would be my Gilly Hicks, what are these? The Conditioning Limp Tints. And I've showed you guys this in a haul video before, raved about them, how I absolutely love these. They're basically just like lip balms, sort of, in like a more jelly, thicker form. Um, I got these, obviously, at Gilly Hicks, which is kind of a branch off of like Abercrombie and Fitch and Hollister. But they sell more kind of launch, I wouldn't say lingerie, but like underwears and bras and that sort of thing. And I saw these on sale for 90 cents. Mm-hmm, yeah. They're originally priced at $12. Who's going to pay $12 for these? I know I would definitely not pay $12 for these little things. But they were on sale for $0.90. Cents. So I went back like two or three times in a row and they were still on sale for $0.90. Cents. So overall I think I got like six or seven of these. And I have probably like four left. So I've gone through, I've burned through like a majority of them because I love them that much. But they do last a really long time. They're super, super moisturizing on your lips. They are pretty clear, like they don't have much of a color to them. Question number two comes from also the greed category and it is what is your most expensive beauty product? I would have to say my YSL lipstick. This is the Rouge Pure Couture lipstick in number 23. It's a corally pink color. Smells so good. Every time I like break it out, I have to smell it. Smells delicious. But I think this and my Too Faced Smoky Eye Palette are similar around price range. I know they're both in the $30 price range, I want to say. So one of these two would probably be my most expensive beauty product. I'm kind of leaning towards YSL just because it is YSL and Yves Saint Laurent. I don't know how to say that with like out sounding like a total like. I don't know. So yeah, I'd have to say this is probably most expensive product. I mean, I love the lipstick, but mm, for near $30, not sure if it is worth that much. But it is a really nice lipstick, and it better be a nice lipstick if it's like $30 something dollars. All right, next category comes from the Wrath category, and it is what beauty products do you have a love-hate relationship with? Love-hate relationship, that would probably have to be... So I picked my Benetint and my Posey Tint. These are both from Benefit. You guys know, I think I talked about these in my Disappointing Products of 2011 video. I've, this is like my second or third um, little bottle because it comes with the... It comes in like a trio usually. Love High Beam. This is High Beam from Benefit. These I mostly have a hate relationship with. Everyone raves about them on YouTube. I haven't really seen too many bad reviews about them. But I find when I put them on my cheeks, they become very streaky. And I don't really like that effect or look. Uh, so pretty much once I set them right on my skin, it stays like that. And even if I try to blend it out with a brush, with my fingers, I've tried so much stuff and it ends up looking really streaky. But I do actually like these as a lip tint. So like I was saying, these do work good for, good for me on my lips because I don't really find them streaky on my lips and worst comes to worst, I can just put a lipstick over it and it's gone or a lip gloss or something. But yeah, for a blush tint and for how much people rave about this on YouTube or specifically these products, I don't... Oh! Ooh, that almost dropped all over my white dress. So yeah, don't really care for these. I don't recommend them to anyone. If they work for you, that's great. And if you guys have any tips on like how to um, work with these a little more easily, then let me know in the comments. But one good thing about the little trio that came with this is that I absolutely love High Beam from Benefit and I don't find that it streaks on me. Maybe it's just because it's a little more creamier. 
anyways, enough about that. Next question is also comes from the wrath category, and it is what product has been the hardest to get? Hands down, when I read this question, Revlon lip butters. I had so much trouble finding Revlon lip butters in my area. Don't ask me. I looked every single, everywhere, everywhere. Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, Ulta. I went to like six different places, different locations on all the stores. Couldn't find them anywhere. And I finally ended up finding one, one left at my local Ulta. And it is in 055 Cupcake. I really like this color. Um, I mean, I like the product, I don't love it, and I really don't think that it's worth around $8, and it's a bit overhyped to me, but I do enjoy it, I don't like regret buying it or anything like that, but, I mean, it's okay, it's just, I feel like some products are a little overhyped on YouTube, and I wouldn't specifically, like, go crazy over them, and I think it was kind of a waste trying to, like, look everywhere just to find them, but at least now I know that, you know, even though people rave about a ton of products on YouTube, it may not work for you. That one, eh, it's just overhyped. Next category is gluttony, and the first question is, what are your most delicious beauty products? All right, so I went back to my, one of my favorite products that I own out of my whole entire makeup collection. It is my Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Glosses. I have one in Pink Whisper. The light pink one is Pink Whisper. This coral one is Coral Reef and the light purple one is Lilac Pastel. I had to pick these. They are so creamy and they feel just so nice on your lips. They're really pigmented. You guys know I rave about these. I've talked about them so many times and not sure why I only have three. I need to go to Target and literally get like every single color. But I love them a lot and they're pretty inexpensive. I found them at Walmart. I think they're the cheapest at Walmart. Uh, probably around four or five dollars. And they are amazing. I love wearing these. I just love them. And they're really, really nice packaging. Love the packaging. And they're just so, oh, they're so creamy. And they feel amazing on your lips. So those are probably my most delicious beauty products. Next category comes from the sloth category. And it is what product do you, re do you neglect due to laziness? Hands down, my pigments. I have several pigments. I think I have about... I have six MAC pigments. Five of them are from the Holiday Collection. One full size. And then I have a pigment from Victoria's Secret, a pigment from Coastal Scents, and then a random like glitter pigment that I've had for years. I love pigments so much, don't get me wrong. I think they're definitely worth the money. I would go to MAC today and buy another pigment in a different color. I think they're worth it because they do last a long time and obviously they're very pigmented. But they're just really hard to work with and I find myself not really reaching for them that often. They kind of just kind of, you know, sit around and collect dust in my makeup collection. I hate to say that, but they're just, they're sort of messy to work with and they're not super quick. And in the mornings before school, I'm all about fast. Give me an eyeshadow, slap on some mascara, blush, lip gloss, and that's it. I really don't want to hassle with pigments. I love them, but I just find myself not using them that very much. So if you guys are like that with pigments, let me know. Hopefully I'm not the only one. But yeah, that's probably one of the products that I'm a little bit lazy with, I must say. Next category comes from Pride, and it says, What beauty product gives you the most self-confidence? Definitely, I think I watched Amarique's or Allison's here on YouTube, and she said foundation. I'm going to have to agree with her on that one. I actually don't wear foundation. Um, I do have Fit Me foundation that I like to wear during the summertime, really, because that's like the only colors I have, because right now they're way too dark for me, and I really don't feel like going to Ulta and getting another lighter one. Anyways, I think any kind of coverage, um, coverage product gives me most self-confidence, because it hides the impurities, and if I could like live with one product, it would have to be like a coverage product. Um, so all I wear is concealer and powder, and that's what I've been wearing for the past few months, and it just works out really well for me. And it's perfect for right under my eyes, under around my nose, and on blemishes. And it definitely, hands down, gives me the most self confidence, just because it makes my skin a little bit more flawless than it would be if I didn't wear any makeup. All right, next question comes from the lust category, and this one's kind of random. It doesn't really have anything to do with makeup, but it says, what at attributes do you find most attractive to in the opposite sex? And I was kind of thinking about this, and it's hard because I'm not really sure if it's more looks 
or more like personality, but since it is the seven deadly sins, I probably geared more toward looks, but someone who is, I don't know, I have a little list going on, has, you know, obviously good style, a great smile, like nice skin, good hair, like short, I like shorter hair on guys, I don't really like the whole Justin Bieber haircut because y'all know how I feel about Justin Bieber. Mm -mm. And as far as personality goes, number one, someone who can make me laugh. If you make me laugh and you're a guy, you are doing something right because yeah, that's like one of my most important things. So definitely has a good sense of humor and just an overall great personality. Is funny and, you know, respectful and kind. I'm not really the, you know, boyfriend expert over here. Single. Probably forever single. So yeah, that would probably be some of my most favorite qualities in guys. And also, I'll give you a few of my favorite people. Channing Tatum. Taylor Lautner. Mm, Ryan Gosling. Ooh, what's his name? Joseph Gordon Levitt Levitt? Joseph Levitt Gordon, something like that. He was in what movie was 500 Days of Summer. I love him so much. Those are kind of the like guys I guess you could say I could put in the category that are ooh, smoking. Okay, last category comes from Envy and it says, What items would you most like would you most like to receive as a gift? I would say as far as makeup goes, if I just pick a specific item like to this day, I would say the Naked palette just because I am the only girl on YouTube, I know, like literally the only girl on YouTube without any of the Naked palettes. I just find them to be, again, overhyped and I know if I got one I'd probably love it and it'd probably be totally worth $50 to me but I have so much eyeshadow you guys that I literally probably have every single color a similar dupe to it just in random different areas so I just don't feel like it would be worth it spending $50 for myself on a naked palette even though I do really like them so if anyone wants to give that to me as a gift then hint hint no I'm just kidding but um, that's probably one specific product that I would love to get as a gift but another general product that's not really well I guess it's kind of beauty related but it's perfume and I've seen a lot of girls say this, and I have to agree, I think perfume is one of the best gifts that anyone, a girl, a guy, anyone could give to someone just because I love perfume. What girl does not love perfume? And I don't know. I'm not really too picky when it comes to perfume scents, so I mean, as long as it smells good and it doesn't smell like gross, then I'm not very picky and I love receiving perfume as a gift. So. That was it for the 7 Deadly Sins tag. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, if you guys have any other video requests or tag videos that you want me to do, leave them in a comment below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!